Hello dear viewer and welcome back to this KOTOR Let's Play on iPad. We are on the beautiful planet of Manan, the monopoly of Kolto planet basically. There's a nice big ocean which I'm sure we'll probably explore somehow. Mm, we'll see. But for now, Joe Lee, Zalbar, and me, Jalanon, are going to oh, figure out if Sunri is actually a murderer or something. Okay. Hmm. That doesn't sound suspicious. Never mind, Jolie. Hmm. Fine. I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Ah. Maybe you could hire me? Hmm. Why are you hiring mercenaries? In case you haven't noticed, there's a war. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will have us fusion. I have to continue my recruitment. Hmm. Fine. I'm in the middle. Maybe you could hire me. I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to continue my recruitment. Okay. Hmm. North of here, huh? Well, okay. We still need to find Sunri, though. Here are some Selkath. Yep, yep. They're the natives. That's not Sunri. Okay, so she said he was in jail right now. And unfortunately, the location of that jail escapes me at the moment. So we're going to keep wandering around until we find stuff. The public respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injury. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I am aware of the Republic's indignation. However, witness reports clearly state your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as the Sith in this case. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault for this breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved into the Otto City Jail, but since no Selkath were harmed in this conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits to both sides. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. Okay. Well, ten thousand credits, huh? Why can't the Selkath see what the Sith are really like? They should ban them all from this planet. Hmm. They say everyone on Manon is equal, but it seems the Republic is a little more equal than the Sith. <laughs> Neutrality? Ha! <laughs> That's a laugh. Okay. Well, seems like you got the better end of the deal, really. You don't have people in the hospital and. Just 10,000 credits, same as the Republic, who also have to take care of medical bills. Hmm. Hmm. Seems to me like that guy knows how to negotiate. Anyway, moving on through Manon, where will we find Sunri? Do we need to talk to Aurora again? Selkath Courts. Hmm. I think they might be north as well, but we'll go this way just for fun. West Central. Okay. Dun 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 What's this? Is this the Colto again? 
Okay, out to the west is where we were. Port official. Docking bay. Otto City East Central. Well, hmm. Let's head towards the city. And unfortunately, we can't use Master Speed because Zalbar doesn't have it. Hmm. Almost. Okay, East Central Courtyard. What's in here? Okay. Uh oh. No! Wait! Ah! Oh. I wanted to start my Master Valor, but, uh... Nope. Cutscene. Huh. Okay, well, at least we didn't have to... Oh. Master Valley. There we go. Well. That was more amicable than it could have been. Hmm. Though it sounds to me like Malik has plans. Hmm. Not that he hasn't always had plans, but... Oh! Shady Rodian. He doesn't want to speak to us. Why are you just standing here in a corner? Okay. We'll either do business with him or leave, huh? Oh, Pazak. Yeah, I'll leave. Gambling isn't for me at the moment. Maybe after Malik is gone. Because apparently a lot of Force users do well at gambling. Hmm. Too bad you can't apply your buffs into the game. That way. Let's see. Anything down here? Okay. There's a door. There's a door down here. That's cool. Hey, this street is for Sith only. You gotta pay a twenty credit toll to walk down this street. This is a public street. <laughs> okay. Somebody has a lot of gumption. Hmm. Selkath, cleaning droid, other person. Hmm. I guess the other person, aha, uh -huh, traveling. Manan may not seem very hospitable, but a surprising amount of trade runs through it because of the Coldway Trail. Hmm. Okay. Well, oh, it doesn't seem like there's that much here. Other than a door. What's down here? More doors. Reminds me of Lord of the Rings. But a bunch. Ah, okay. Swoop registration. Okay. Swoop races. What is your business exactly? His name is Vec. He works for the Aetherak Goldar. Hmm. An art guy. Okay. Security advisor. Nice. Are you with the Sith? To be honest, no. <laughs> Don't you think the Sith might take exception to you wearing their uniform? He says, maybe... But they're not trying to do anything to get themselves in trouble. As long as I don't actually say I'm with the Sith, they don't seem to mind, huh? Okay. Yeah, I can see how your job would be very stressful. Yeah. Dealing with the temper transcends of the cultural elite. Temper tantrum. Wow. Ethrak is the worst, huh? We came here to relax. <laughs> and unfortunately, we made him remember bad memories of Aetherak and his temper tantrum. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're going to do any more swoop races. But maybe we can find some more stuff to do. Like, I don't know. Talk to the professional racers. Racers lounge. Hmm. Yeah, I just want to ask a few questions. What's bothering you? He's not getting any better. Modified with the best equipment. Yeah. Only so much you can do with borrowed stuff. And he needs money, huh? How much do you need? 500 credits, huh? There's no way you can earn it? 
Ah, he already used everything to buy the swoop. Hmm. Yeah, I can give it to you. Okay. Come back to East Otto in a day or so after the changes are made. Okay, I have to leave. Goodbye. Hey, we got light side points. Cool. Okay. Nah, I'm good. Okay, well, we got some light side points. Not much happening yet. Do you know much about Manon? He's lived here for more than 10 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. What do you know about Colton? You need it to make med packs. Ah. Okay. Have the Sith been a problem? No, but it's unnerving to have them here, huh? Okay. How about you and Racing? Okay. Well, I guess uh, use the money I gave you to upgrade. Yeah, he won't know if he's good enough unless, you know, he gets to the track. I have to leave. Goodbye. That's fair. We'll see if Quidl makes some money or not, I guess, in the future. If I remember to come back here. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot out to the east. Well, we'll head north now. Maybe there's something up north and east. Maybe there's something cool in the ocean. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, an emporium. Hello? You got any armor plating for my spook bike? That's a little dented. I thought this garbage was free. You actually sell this junk? You fish on a strange breed. Get out of my store. I'm sick of you, Sith, and your stupid jokes. Don't worry, junk man. When I want garbage, I'll be back. Oh, I accidentally messed up some of the... Wait, that looks like our starting uniform. Eh. Weird. Okay. Well. At any rate, poor guy. Let's do this. Are you here to mock me as the Sith, or do you actually want to buy something? Uh, I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm jailing on. Please forgive me. I had no cause to be so rude to you. The Sith makes such trouble for me, and business has been slow. And that's no excuse for his tone, according to him. Okay. That's nice of him. Hmm, he apologized. So, used good store of Yortle Ixilis. Uh, some questions. Spends most of his time in the shop. That makes sense. Ah, poor guy. Works very hard. Okay. Possibly some star map. This is the only city on Manon, so you're in non uh, Ancient ruins would probably be in the ocean. Okay. More questions. Uh, how did you come to run a junk pile? Er, used good shop. Ah, uh, yes, that. Well, I was not always in such dire straits. In fact, once I would have been quite well off, but the Sith had other plans. Well, technically, my debt is to the Zerka Corporation, but that amounts to the same thing in the end. Okay, you owe the money. Ah. Uh, okay, more money. In time and years, he may be able to repay his debt. Okay. I'd like to look at your inventory. Ah. Uh. Repair kits, that'd be good. At a fraction of the price, huh? Computer spikes, we always need those. Why not help this guy out a bit? Uh, advanced targeting computer. Mm. Furpine demolitions probe. Mm. I think we're good. Well, I hope it works out for you, bud. Be Sith, man. Messing with everybody. Okay, more north. Oh, the Sith have war droids. Yeah, that makes sense. Move about your business, human. I'm just used to them having only security droids. Hmm. What's this person here for? Only people who have business with the Sith are allowed inside the embassy. 
Ah, uh, okay. You can ask, Questions? But I doubt you'll get many answers you'll like. Okay, so then. Stay. Doesn't matter to me. If you want to, you can even wander up to the embassy gate. <laughs> but don't expect to get inside. Okay. Weird. Hmm. So this looks important. Hmm. Ah, well. So now we know where the Sith Embassy is. That's good to know. And that's probably pretty important. Yeah. Okay. And I bet we can save some time if we return to the Ebonhawk. And then go back elsewhere. Let's find out. We want to go there. Okay. Zalbar, try to keep up. There's a merchant to get. <laughs> More cleaning droids. Yep, 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 yep. Well, I don't see the uh, guy who is linked to the exchange, but not quite part of the exchange. So he's probably still around somewhere. But maybe not. He was walking pretty resolutely towards an unknown destination. But we know we can find out um, from his contact on Korriban where we can get some good stuff like weapons and armor. So we probably want to go either back to East Central City or back west. Hmm, wait. Looks like I didn't quite finish one of these areas. I think this is the Colto section that is on the map to the left in the mini-map. So let's go check it out. I think I've already been in there though. Right? Yeah. Yep, yep. This is just the Colto thing. But apparently we hadn't fully fleshed out the map. Mm. Well, go figure. Alright. Back to the city. I think. Yeah. yeah. East Central. You know, West Central and East Central are right next to each other. I guess it has to do with them being central and all. Will they talk to you? Okay, apparently. And we can go north. Republic soldier. Greetings, Master Jedi. I hope you have a pleasant stay here on Manal. If you have any questions or needs, please direct them to our envoy, Roland Wong. Yeah. At our There's a Republic embassy. Door. Visitors hotel. And Ignis. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities and those authorized by them are allowed in. Uh, okay. I'll be going now. Yeah. I have a feeling if we go drop by the uh, authorities, they might give us the permission to, you know, investigate since we are Jedi. Okay, so Republic Embassy first. Then we gotta figure out where in the world to go for Sunri. <laughs> There's Roland. Let's get our charisma up. Welcome to Manar. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. I'm on a mission from the Jedi Council. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I seek a star map. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Come on, tell me. I mean, that's only fair, but okay. What do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Arco City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Coraxian sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason that is not determined. 
and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Okay. Where's the droid exactly? Sith Embassy? We were just there? Since we have no remaining hmm. soldiers to spare, certainly not that is what we would ask for. Okay, how do I get in? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them could work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on this one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Okay, is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Hmm. Another the way? The Sith have got the cell caps to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card for that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Hmm. I think the landing bay is probably the most combat oriented. <laughs> and already decrypted pass card. That means we don't need T3 M4. Uh, we could switch out Zalbar for T3. Or, you know, just somebody else. But, yeah, we'll try the landing bay. Cool. Okay. So where exactly do I need to go for that? Have you managed to retrieve the data from our drone? No, I haven't. Time is a critical factor. We can. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm on duty, citizen. Please refer any What's questions in here? to our diplomatic bureau. Ooh. Thank you. Stuff, maybe. Computer room. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. Good luck. You're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence pattern. Okay, what do I have to do? The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most is simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. The second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Rowan nice. said it was clear, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay, well, this sounds more like a puzzle than something for T3 and 4. There's a large computer, there's a Republic technician. Well, just for funsies. O, T, 3, M, 4. Let's see. Zalbar? I'm sorry, you're not very computer savvy. Maybe we can fix that in the future, but... Actually, wait. I think he's more computer savvy than Jolie is. Just in case. Moral support. Moral support, Zalbar. Hey, T, 3. And before we do anything else... Buff! Okay, then we save... <laughs> and then, large computer, grant to me the secrets of the Sith. Or something. Oh, we can slice the Republic system. Hmm. What happens if we just click decrypt, though? Success. Journal secrets 1, 2, 4, 7. Okay, so it looks like it's just adding either the... Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it goes 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 
4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. So 16 plus 6 is 22. I think. Okay. Subtractive matrix. Hmm. Goes down by 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. Then it's adding 1, so now it'll add 2. Okay. Uh, hmm. 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2. Okay, so 64. Hmm. Divisive matrix. It's dividing by 2. Okay. I feel sorry for this Republic technician if he can't figure this out. Hmm. Okay, exponential matrix. Hmm. This is going to be harder. <laughs> Let's see. So it's... Hmm. Hmm. Is it one? Hmm. I have to admit, I'm not sure where to go on this one. Uh, so we've got what times what is 32 by itself. Ah, uh, math brain, you have failed me. 25 is 5 times 5, 64 is 8 times 8. Hmm. And it was going up, but now it's going back down. Hmm. Up, up, down, down. Would it be going up again? Hmm. Well, 6 times 6 is 36. But exponents are different. That's usually like a number of times itself multiple times. <gasps> I might have to look this one up, but we're just going to take a stab at 3. Okay. Logarithmic matrix. <sighs> Logs. No! Those have to do with powers of 10. So 10 to the first. Wait, what? Hmm. Guessing. <laughs> Seven's lucky. No. Okay. Well, at least I have plenty of cards. What happens if I do this? Ah. Uh, I don't know why we'd need to open the submarine bay doors. Unless we were working for the Sith. Okay. So, that was just one computer spike, though. Hmm. And that we failed at that. Hmm. Well, Republic Technician, I don't blame you. I can't remember my logs and exponents well enough. Uh, oh. One day, maybe. You know what, Zalbar, to end this episode, how do you feel about me being Revan? You rescued me from the Gamorrean slavers. It does not matter to me if you are called Jalanon or Revan. I have sworn a life debt to you. I will stay with you to the end, Jalanon, and I will judge you on your actions as I see them, not on a history I have never known. Okay, cool. Well, Zalbar, anything else to say to the viewers? Hmm. I suppose not. Well, dear viewer, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a little bit less cool stuff. More me failing logs and exponents. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day.